let's look at how to make a Dakota fire hole. All right, so in your Dakota fire hole, you need a hole that the main fire will go in, and then a tunnel that is for airflow to come in and feed that fire. Your initial hole where the fire will be, it can be 12 inches in diameter and 12 inches deep. I've actually made mine bigger. I've made it about a two foot hole in diameter, 18 inches deep. And then you make the airflow hunt tunnel, oh, somewhere around six inches in diameter to where, just big enough to where you can get a airflow tunnel to the bottom of the main chamber, the main fire burning area. So the advantages of a Dakota fire hole are it produces very little smoke, if any. Now, of course, when you first start, there's going to be smoke. Smoke is incomplete combustion. So when we have a lot of smoke, that's gases being let off that is not burning in the fire. So the purpose of having little to no smoke is one, it's not detectable. You can cook your food and not have it be super detectable. Another reason is you don't have smoke you're sitting in. You're not smelling smoke, having it in your eyes and having it burn. That is one of the big advantages of this Dakota fire hole. Another advantage is the fire burns hotter so your food can cook faster. It burns hotter because it's more complete combustion. So here we see we have no to very little smoke coming off of the fire. Now if you stack your firewood in there right, stack it nice and tight, put a fire on top and have it burn down, then um, you'll have a better burning fire but if you just throw wood in there it'll burn too and hopefully produce little to no smoke i forgot to say the distance between the two holes is a foot 12 inches so there you go there's a dakota fire hole hope it helps you folks hope it gets you uh, more free in your life free from smoke free from expanding um, your methods of cooking or staying warm or boiling water. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate the views. Hey folks, remember, there's only real true freedom in having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching.